Buhay Squad, it is time to experience once again the thrill of shampooing my head. Yes, let's do this. <gasps> Here we go, my Blue High Squad. Time for shampooing. Oh, it's been years. Oh, 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 it's going in my eyes. Oh, wow, it's so lathery. Oh, okay, wait, it's going in my eyes. I forgot how much I hate this. Okay, ah, it burns. Okay, I need to do it off. Ah. Wow! Oh my gosh, that was my eyes. That burned. Oh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to lather it like that. Ooh! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that was an interesting shampooing experience. Ah! Refreshed. <laughs> and Legai is refreshed too. Look at her drying off. Mm -hmm. Now, my hair is still short enough to be able to go Woo! Little showers! Woo! And like, it's kind of dry, but like, usually it would be completely dry Like the moment I step out and towel my head off But it's still rather wet How strange that feeling! Uh... Ah. <laughs> It's a weird feeling, no? Being wet? Strange feeling. I agree, Nagaya. I agree. Woo! Good day, Mabuhai squad. Good morning. It is so hot <laughs> and sunny. Gorgeous sun. Nagaya, like the sun? I'm sure she does. So, with it being January, we're now approaching our summer here in the Philippines. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Our hottest time of the year is at the end of January through February and March. Which is interesting because in Canada that's the complete opposite. The coldest is like February. But yeah, so it's starting to get really warm, really hot here. It's also Ligaya's first summer so I'm excited about that. I'm interested to see if she's gonna shed like in this hot period. It's kind of unclear when birds are supposed to have their like full molt. I remember when I had Malaya there was just this one time of the year I think it was like around June or July or something where she completely shed all her feathers. Not all at once of course but just every day we would find adult feathers all over the floor like at the LC would sweep it up. So I'm interested to see when Ligaya here will be having her shedding season. She's shed three tail feathers so far, <laughs> um, which is strange because on the internet it says African greys shed their wing feathers first. So I don't know, that'll be interesting. And also what will be interesting is when her breeding season happens. Tita Nora, her breeder, said that usually the summer here in the Philippines is when most of her birds will go into their breeding cycle. Um, and that is supposed to be interesting because when she gets hormonal, I've seen videos on YouTube of hormonal parrots and it's not fun. So I'm prepared. I'm prepared. If she does get into that hormonal period, that breeding season period, I'm prepared for her bad behavior. That is if she's like sexually mature to undergo that. I don't know if she is. Of course I say summer here in the Philippines, but it is always hot here in the Philippines. They say the Philippines has three seasons, hot, hotter, and hottest. 
and a parrot in a guava tree. <laughs> All right. Okay, Mabuhay squad. So, working on the Ants Canada video now. The guy is asleep. Um, it's like past nine. And guys, um, I have to talk to you. Not you guys, maybe in particular. I suppose it's something that social media influencers have to deal with. Some might argue that it comes with the territory. But every now and then more frequently now than before i'll get a call from my front desk saying that someone is in the lobby um who wants to meet me or is asking for me and they didn't have an appointment now you guys know me for those of you who've met me at events or out in public or whatnot of course i will i'd love to meet you guys i love talking to you guys i love hugging you guys I like getting to know who you are that watch these videos, watch my videos on whatever whatever channel, um, and I'm so appreciative of that. But I do get a little scared of people who like show up at my place. The last time this happened was not too long ago, it must have been like a month ago or like a month and a half ago. It happens regularly. One time, like early in the morning at like 7.30 or 8 in the morning, there was some a man who showed up at my door with like a child and if you're watching <laughs> man with child I'm so sorry I, I don't know what your name is but I'm sorry that I didn't answer the door only because one I'm shy like first of all I had bad breath and like I was just in my room but also like for my safety you know what I'm saying on the internet on social media it's easy to just block or ignore a troll or a hater or someone who physically dislikes me and expresses it on the internet but you can't do that in real life like who's to say that one day i'll open the door and some guy will have a gun there you know what i mean maybe a mentally ill person who just in his mind wants to harm me or you know what i'm saying and there are cases like this where these things happen you know what i mean like even at events like the very tragic incident with Christine Grimey, Grimey, um, a YouTuber who got shot in a mall during a meet and greet. You know what I'm saying? OMG. And there are times when I'm touring where when I get like the hardcore hate comments on my social media, on my videos, on my Facebook, whatever, I will go to their profile and see what city they're in. You know what I'm saying? And I will pass that profile onto RJ and to my team and they'll remember that they'll like record that so that if ever we visit that city um, we can spot them either in the audience or at the meet and greet you know what I mean and like it's it's gone to the point now where I've turned down the opportunity to have a meet and greet like for example we went to Seattle and we were going to set up a meet and greet in Seattle just recently in December, but we couldn't find a place that included like security as part of the venue. So um, I decided not to do it. You know what I mean? I, I wanted it to happen, but I decided not to do it uh, because you, you can't be too careful. I guess, that, again, that comes with the territory and it's fine. Um, so going back to whoever it was that was in my lobby tonight, if you're watching, I am so, so sorry I couldn't meet you. But it's also because I don't know who's down there. There was no appointment um, and a little part of me is shy. In fact, every time I walk through the lobby of my building and there are a bunch of people in the lobby, I kind of like try to be to kind of subtly move in like and move in because I don't like causing too much of a scene and not that I prance around going oh people are looking at me i'm so famous uh not not at all i just it's for my own safety it's like i gotta pass through that space with um a lot of people and i just i'm with my bird usually <laughs> and i get through there as quickly as possible i'm just a shy person you know what i'm saying when these cam when this camera's off i'm very quiet and reserved and to myself especially when i'm out in public and 
I, I also have a security blanket when I have my crew around me, like RJ or, you know, at the LC or my cousin Raquel when she's with me. I, I like having that uh, a posse, you know what I mean? So that I'm not really alone. Except when I walk around the neighborhood, that's different. I got the Gaia and it's kind of quiet. But yeah, all of this boils down to if you're watching and if you happen to know where I live, which is very plausible because one Google search used to have my address and I had to contact them to remove it but also because I do vlog around my building so some of you may know where I live but please how do I say this in a kind way one I appreciate that you even watch my videos and want to meet me in person that blows my mind I feel like a nerd why would you want to meet me but please just keep updated with my social media I post events that I'm at I can meet you at events. I can meet you in public. Like if you follow my stories, sometimes I'll say, oh, I'm here, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, but yeah, just not my place. I love you guys so much. And I don't mean that. That's not a fake I love you. Like I truly, genuinely am grateful for each and every single one of you guys watching. That's all. <laughs> Mr. Man, I'm sorry. Or woman or child or kid or teenager who was downstairs waiting for me. I'm so sorry. Love you. Sorry I couldn't meet you. Good morning, my high squad. So, the guy and I are here. Yes. We're going to do recall training. Something we haven't done in a long time. So, it's time for us to practice. Gaia, you sit here. You need to build those wing muscles. You don't use them enough. Gaia, come. Come, come, come. You can do it. You remember this. Here's Koi. <laughs> Ligaya, I am so proud of you. That is awesome. I was skeptical. I wasn't sure if you could do it. Yeah, she wants her corn now. Guys, she loves corn. Like, corn is her favorite food now. So now that I put a lot more solid vegetables in her bowl, like just chopped and not really blended anymore, because she doesn't really eat the blend as much, corn is her first target in the bowl. She loves corn. You love corn, hmm? You're so corny. So, I posted um, last night a reminder on my Twitter and Instagram about, uh, you know, not coming to my place, um, if you know where I live, without an appointment. And so many of you reached out to me, checking to see if I was okay, and some of you guys even apologized for coming to my place or dropping stuff off for me. Um, and this is why I love you guys. You guys are such a caring, kind community. And it's also why I feel bad saying like, please don't come. Um, because I mean, in the right circumstance, I would love for everyone to just come, come to my humble abode. But, uh, but no, it's, I, I really, really appreciate how kind you guys are. Um, and this is why I love you guys. Uh, you guys, reached out to me and it just it felt so nice thank you so much for supporting me on this um and also for those of you who do want to drop stuff off for me um it's not a good idea to come here and drop this stuff off um if you know where i live uh it's better to drop it off at the address in the description portion of this youtube video you know where there's like a description all the words just usually down there um, and if you're on a mobile, you have to press an arrow for it to like become long and you can read it. Uh, there's an address there um, and it's just nearby. It's RJ's Apple Drive office. Um, and so you could drop the stuff off there and then it'll get to us. Sometimes it'll get to us sooner. You know what I'm saying? It'll get to me sooner. Um, so feel free to send anything there uh, if you like, but just not at my place. <laughs> Thank you. I love you guys. Okay, Mabuhai squad, so I have something very special to show you guys. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, and Ligaya is like totally excited about it too. She can't stop looking at it. Mm -hmm. Mabuhai squad, I am super thrilled to show you what we now have. 
<laughs> the guy loves it. Rainbow High Squad. We now have 